Daily devotionals for November 28th. Today's scripture reading will be Jonah 3 verses 1 through 10. Now the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time saying, here's his commissioning, arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and preach the message I shall tell you. So see, God's given us assignments. He may have to speak to us twice. <laughs> He's saying, arise, go, preach, what I give you, okay? He doesn't need any of our flesh in there. He needs the word that he speaks. That's what he needs us to speak. So Jonah rose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. It was a great city, uh, a three-day journey. Verse 4, But he began to enter the city on the first day's walk. So um, you know, I feel there was a real timing in this, and I can't say that I know what that was, but there was uh, an urgency for him to get there. He already basically wasted three days right in the belly of the whale, and now he's being sent there. What would take three days, he got there in one day. Of course, he was spit out on dry land. I believe he was there at the shore of Nineveh. Um, okay, so verse 4 uh 40 days he began to prophesy what the Lord gave him. Yet 40 days in Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, the people hear him and they began a fast. Fear of the Lord came upon them. Now the king got word of it, verse 6, and he himself, he put sackcloth on and ashes and and he proclaims uh, a fast as well. It's a decree. And he said, let neither man or beast, herd or flock, taste anything. Uh, do not let them take water or drink. Okay, so he's proclaiming this. He said, uh, let everyone turn from his evil way from the violence that is in his hand. So this is an order from the king. Who can tell if God will turn and relent and turn away from his fierce anger so that we may not perish? I mean, wouldn't that be great if this would be like the president or the prime minister or the king, you know, would demand this of his people and they would actually listen and do it. Verse 10, then God saw their works. Okay, this was their faith in action. And they turned from their evil way and God relented from the disaster that he said that he would bring upon them, and he did not do it. So, you know, it was a response of what it was God's heart all the time was for the people to turn. They were a wicked people, okay? But God's heart was for them to be saved. And when they heard the word of the Lord from Jonah, I mean, think about it. He had to be the world's greatest evangelist ever. <laughs> all these people, because there's it tells in chapter 4 how many people lived there, but they all turned to God. So, uh, you know, the king, it was the king's decree. Perhaps God will relent and save us from this disaster. And he did, okay? Now, I think that's awesome and you know, when we turn from our wickedness and we repent, God hears us and he will relent from the disaster that could lie ahead of us. Okay, we'll continue with this till tomorrow. So be blessed until then, okay?